Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations, and welcome to your monthly reading, your, excuse me, your general reading for the month of July, <laughs> for the month of July of 2022. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be speaking directly to you, Scorpio, or this could resonate for a cross-watcher who is watching for a Scorpio energy, yeah? Also keep in mind, guys, that this is a timeless reading, regardless of the fact that it is dated as your message for the month of July of 2022. This does not have to specifically or solely resonate for you just in the month of July. This is just, you know, what spirit wants to discuss with you, what spirit, what messages spirit has for you at this time. All right, Regard regardless of the time period, the association with the month of July is merely for organizational purposes. Okay, Scorpio, so just keep that in mind. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and you haven't done so already. Yes, especially if you enjoy this video and or it resonates for you. Yeah? All right, Scorpio, I'm going to give this one more shuffle after I stop obsessing over my tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one last shuffle for you, Scorpio, and we will see what messages Spirit has for you at this time. What does, nope, okay, we're gonna try that one more time. Last shuffle, there we go, there we go. All right, Scorpio, let's get into this. I was drawn to look at the bottom of the deck. You do have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel, uh, okay. Um, somebody's, somebody's claws are about to come out. Uh, all right. Let's talk about this, this Queen of Swords energy. There is, there is a sternness here, but really what I'm getting the strongest, Scorpio, for you or maybe for this cross watcher here, there is a reluctance to really utilize the Queen of Swords at, power at, at her fullest, really to even utilize her Queen of that, that, that energy at all, um, which I will say, if this is resonating for you as the Scorpio here, I will say that is a marked level of maturity. Sometimes Scorpio can be, can be very quick to like throw out that stinger and like use those pincers and, you know, really, really dig into somebody or really go for the jugular or like, you know, go for that, for that, uh, you know what I mean? Like just go for that jab. Um, I, I want to say for shits and giggles. <laughs> A lot of the time or sometimes or all, at least but but see that that's just it's just it's part of your energy it's part of your prop your propensity you know towards being reactionary or just you know like being very upfront and honest and forthright and straight to the point and like telling it like it is bold faced like emotionless like even though you're a water sign like just like okay but what, what, what the Queen of Swords is representing for you at this moment or in this energy that we're about to talk about, Scorpio, there is a reluctance to really lay it down for someone or to really like tell somebody how it is or tell it like it is or something like that. You don't want to hurt someone. You don't want to, you don't want to maybe potentially sabotage the situation. There, there is a reluctance here. And that's why I feel like the Queen of Swords is showing up for you at this moment. Because there is some sort of truth that you have, that you have to tell, that you need to tell, that you know of. And you could be the one to convey this truth, but you don't necessarily have to want to do it if you don't have to. It's kind of what I'm getting here. All right, let's go further. What's going on for Scorpio? What messages do we have for Scorpio at this time? Please, Spirit, what do you want to discuss with Scorpio? Ten of, oh, see, look at that. The Ten of Wands, the Four of Swords. There is definitely something you are needing to cut yourself free from, release yourself from. Holy shit, yeah, dude. Ten of Wands, Four of Swords, Six of Swords, Judgment. Like, it's time. It is absolutely time. Overall energy is strength. All right. Um, I uh, honestly, Scorpio, in whatever this situation is for you, you are definitely holding yourself back somehow. It may very well be that this burden that the Ten of Wands is representing here rep is on behalf of certain people that rely on you, okay? I am picking up on that. Um, there is a strong level of compassion coming forward, 
or coming through you right now, but time is up. That's what I want to say about this situation. Um, Ten of Wands to the Four of Swords to the Six of Swords to Judgment. So the storyline here is, and this is literally how it's coming through in the progression of the cards. You have something that is burdening you. You have something that is bogging you down or you have something that you're holding responsibility for or holding on to that really is not yours to carry. Regardless as to what your feelings are or what the situation circumstances is are in the physical as it stands right now, you have got to keep a level head, like four of swords. Like at the end of the day, all the emotion, all of the bullshit aside, you need to move forward from this in some way. Four of swords to the six of swords. Judgment. It's time. And you see the judgment card in this deck is fairly scary. You see the look on that angel's face? And yeah, and my cat, Jinx, agrees. There is, and I mean, like, if you really look at it, now that I look at it up close, it's not as scary as I once thought it was or as it once looked. It's just a very intense look, okay? Th this is not a joke, okay? This is not some willy-nilly, oh, well, you know, this is just a suggestion. No, it's, it's the universe is coming through and saying to you, you're better off. Literally, they said, you're better off leaving this alone and just dropping the burden and letting it fall as it stands. For somebody, you, you, okay, so some of you here, Scorpio, or maybe this is the cross watcher, take it as it resonates, but somebody here seems to be the reason why something is still propped up. And your ego, strength here, seems to be what's keeping you burdened. Or there's a sense of loyalty, which would make sense, Scorpio, with you being a fixed sign. Fixed signs are very loyal, or loyalty is something that, uh, is something that a, a fixed sign would really be, have a propensity towards or would really value. There's some sort of loyalty here, but you're needing to let this go. It's time for you to let this go. It's time for you to move forward. When you really sit down or settle down, calm your mind, four of swords, and really open your mind to the truth of the reality or the truth of the situation or the messages that your higher self, your guides, your ancestors, your way, source, your way showers, God source creator, whomever it is that you connect with or whatever it is that you believe in. When you clear your mind, and open yourself up to the truth, to the answers, to the 100% unadulterated truth. It is that, it is time, judgment for you to move forward. You have just got to move forward. It's better off this way, is what I'm getting from this Six of Swords. The Six of Swords represents moving on from rough, rough waters to calmer waters. Okay, it also, the Six of Swords can also represent escaping something, being some sort of refugee, if you will. You, in all seriousness, Scorpio, or Crosswatcher, your guidance here, or the message here, is that you need to escape this burdensome energy or this burdensome situation. You need to... Cut yourself free. You need to allow yourself to move forward. These are all things that I'm hearing coming from this Six of Swords energy connected to this Ten of Wands. All right. Look at this, Scorpio. Look at what's at the... I'm, 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 this, is my, this is my clarification deck, right? Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. I shit you not. And again, I was just, I was just guided to look at the bottom of the deck and here we are. Ten of Wands. Okay. Let's talk about that. Oh, shoot. Hit the camera again. Uh, let's talk about this Ten of Wands then. What is this burdensome energy for you, Scorpio? What is this burden? I'm going to give this a few shuffles first. And we'll get into the, we'll get into some clarification for you. All right. One last shuffle here. So what is this burden? What are these burdensome energies for Scorpio? What is Scorpio holding on to? Now, I want to I want to say, I definitely want to say that this is not out of the ordinary for you, uh, or uh, well, out of this is not out of the ordinary for a fixed sign, because there is momentum here, or at least this is the plan that you came up with, 
or that was developed, or this is just what's been going on, or that, or there's some sort of loyalty here or some not whatnot, whatever. Okay. Also, I want to say at the bottom of the deck right now, you do have the King of Pentacles, which is another fixed energy. Technically, this King of Pentacles would represent Scorpio, not Scorpio, I'm so sorry, would represent Taurus, which is your exact opposite in the Zodiac. But what the King of Pentacles is saying here is that you are some sort of breadwinner, some sort of provider. You might be a father, the father, or a father figure. You are taking, uh, somebody here is taking a very masculine role in terms of being a provider somehow. Okay, there was actually something else I was going to say, but now that's left my mind. Ooh, there you are, Scorpio, King of Cups. The High Priestess and the Three of Swords. And what's this? The Sun. Okay, I'm just going to pull. I'm just going to pull. Clarify the Ten of Wands, please, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Scorpio. What is this Ten of Wands energy? This is Ten of Wands energy for Scorpio. Two of Cups. Oh, this is a relationship. Oh, this is a relationship. Could be romantic, could be platonic. Someone is dependent on you. Or you are dependent on... <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hold on a second. Holy shit. Well, someone did not like that. Holy moly. <clears throat> someone did not like the fact that I said that. Uh, this absolutely, oh, so you know, oh, geez. Um, Scorpio, this might be extremely deceptive. There may be an individual that is in this relationship with you just because of what they can get from you, just because you play the role, this role of a provider. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> okay. Clarify the Ten of Wands, please, Spirit. For Scorpio. The Chariot. And the Five of... Yep. Yeah. And the Five of Pentacles. You, good God. Overall energy is the Three of Swords. Uh, all right, I'm going to be honest with you, Scorpio or Cross Watcher. There is something you need to come to terms with. I feel like the biggest aspect, the biggest aspect of this situation, Scorpio, is that you need to come to terms with the fact that you are probably being manipulated. All right, you have the Two of Cups, you have the Chariot, and you have the Five of Pentacles clarifying this Ten of Wands. And it's this Five of Pentacles energy that is this energy of someone being codependent on you or you being on codependence on someone else, whatever the, however this resonates for you. It's this Five of Pentacles energy that I do not trust, that I don't like to see here. Because especially if this is in terms of a relationship, Two of Cups, and I mean like specifically a romantic relationship, because technically, technically this would be a type of relationship between you and someone else, maybe even you and a, bun a, a group of people, okay, or a number of people, like whatever, but... It, either this is a romantic relationship or it's a platonic relationship. But if, especially if this is a romantic relationship, this five of pentacles energy is that manipulative energy of someone saying, woe is me, don't leave me, I need you, I can't do this without you, this, that, and the third, like who, who's going to be with me, who's going to love me, I'm going to be all alone, whoop, 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 and all that bullshit. Bullshit, Scorpio. Don't believe this. This person is lying. I swear to God, I don't have any other card here to, 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 to speak to deception other than the fact of what my intuition is picking up from this five of pentacles energy. And it is a strong level of misery loves company. They have got you wrapped around their little finger. And I'm going to be so honest with you, Scorpio. This absolutely feels devious. This absolutely feels like this person knows exactly what they are doing. This could be some, this could be an individual that's like a career, um, what's the, what's the, uh, a career con man or con woman. And I'm getting that from the chariot. 
because this person is clearly and consciously moving forward in some way that has them depicted as less well off or lacking needing of assistance when I don't believe what from what I feel about this situation I don't believe that to be the case because if this person is intelligent enough to put together this whole scheme to make it look like they are destitute then they are in fact intelligent enough to not be destitute and to do for themselves but that's not what they want they want you to do it for them that shit ain't right that shit ain't right, Scorpio. Let's clarify the Four of Swords next. What's the Four of Swords for Scorpio? The Magician in Reverse. Clarify the Four of Swords. Okay. The Magician in Reverse. The Four of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Oh my God, the Six of Wands. Yikes. Some of you are looking at this like, what are you talking about, Eric? The Six of Wands is victory. N yeah, the Six of Wands is also keeping up appearance. Parading around town like everything's okay when really it is not. In reality, it is not. You have this with the Sun and the Lovers. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. And the three of wands is at the bottom of the deck here. All right, Scorpio. Let's be real. Let's be honest here. Cooler heads shall prevail. And should those cooler heads have a moment to prevail, one would realize that it is time to let this go. You are being manipulated. The magician in reverse. You are being manipulated i hear it and i feel you resisting that i feel it scorpio i feel i feel it you are trying so hard to resist accepting and acknowledging that you are being manipulated in this situation either you scorpio whomever it is i'm talking to whether it's the scorpio or it's the cross watcher whomever is being manipulated here knows it and is trying so hard not to accept it because then there's your own accountability that is taken into account here, your own responsibility for being involved in the situation. And I'm feeling specifically for as long as you have been. And thus, because of the, because of the awareness, hello, the sun, the sun represents awareness. Okay. Because of this awareness of how you are in fact being manipulated, the four of wands, I'm sorry, the, the, eight, the magician in reverse, Four of Pentacles, you're holding down, holding on, hunkering down, saying, no, no, that can't be true. <clears throat> this can't be true. I, I need to stick with this. I need to stay in this situation, holding on for dear life, parading around town, six of wands, like nothing is wrong. When in fact, behind the scenes, everything is crumbling. It's getting increasingly harder and harder for you to prop this situation up. All because of the awareness, the sun, that you have a choice to make. Awareness of the fact that you have a choice to make to serve your highest good, the lovers. And it is showing, it is in fact, Scorpio, showing up as the lovers here because you need to choose, you are being asked to choose yourself over this person's manipulation of you or over this person's depiction of what their life is or what their situation is most likely financially i'm hearing i did just hear financially i also just heard you don't want to be the bearer of bad news or maybe more bad news and even if score i'm gonna okay all right fine let me play devil's advocate for a second here even if this person really is as debt destitute as they are making it out to be or as it seems how exactly do you think they're going to get out of that type of situation while you're the one propping them up the whole time you propping them up in this way, Scorpio or cross watcher is not teaching them how to do for themselves. It's not teaching them how to get out of this lack mentality. 
So it doesn't have to be as sinister as I'm portraying it to be, as I have, I have felt that it is. In some cases it is, in some cases it is in fact that sinister. But it doesn't have to be. This could be a simple situation or the simple fact of you, you propping this person up or being this support system for this person in this way is not doing anything but enabling them to stay in this Five of Pentacles energy. The hard truth here, Scorpio or Cross Watcher, is that you need to let this go. Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords, please, Spirit for Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Swords, please. <laughs> okay, well, it didn't come out, but it is the Six of Swords again that just showed itself. All right. Clarify the Six of Swords, please, Spirit. The star. Wish fulfillment, healing. I feel like the star is giving me a feeling, Scorpio, that you want to move forward from this. You dream of being able to be free of this situation. You would be, you would, I get from the star that you would feel so much better had, would you, should you not have to carry this burden any longer. And yet there's a sense of loyalty here that keeps you connected to it. Clarify the Six of Swords, please. Now, also, the star here would represent a guide, uh, your guiding light or your guidance system trying to move you forward. But because there's so much uncertainty that is associated with the star and you being a fixed sign are like, well, no, I don't know what's going to happen in terms if I go that direction. So, you know what? I'm better off just staying here, doing, keeping up, doing what it is I'm doing. No, that's detrimental to you. You have the star. Oh, my God. With the eight of cups. Look at this. And the Eight of Swords. Oh my God, Scorpio. Oh my God, Scorpio. Honey, babe, Eight of Pentacles? Damn, yo, eight, eight, eight. Eight, eight, eight. And this is, and the star is 17. That boils down to an eight, two. Holy shit, Scorpio. The universe is trying to assure you Okay, wait. The universe is trying to assure you through this person or through this circumstance that there is enough abundance to go around for everyone. So you may actually find yourself in this position right now, Scorpio. This may have such a lock on you because you sympathize with this person's situation. Because you see an element of or an aspect of yourself in this person in this person's predicament, in this person's plight. But I want you to look at it this way, Scorpio, if this part of the reading or if this part of the message is resonating with you. You are now, regardless, of what, regardless as to whatever it is you've been through in the past, you are now in a position to hold somebody up, to prop somebody up, to be somebody else's support system in this energy, this similar energy that you identify with somehow. So if you could get to this position where you can turn around and look at someone else that was in this position, that is in this same position or something similar to what you were, what makes you think they couldn't get there as well? And I can assure you, even though you pr most likely had help to do this, it was your efforts here, Eight of Pentacles, Scorpio, it was your efforts that got you to where you are right now, right? Your blood, sweat, and tears, your hard work, your consistent grinding work, whether that's physical or mental or emotional or a combination of all three, it was your effort, your consistent effort that put you in this position to be somebody's guiding light, the star. But you cannot do it all for them. At some point, you need to absolve yourself of this situation or at least take a step back to allow them to start to step up. This is crazy, Scorpio. I mean, like all eights, okay? Yes, the star is number 17, but one and seven boil down to an eight, dude abundance, 
abundance, fear. Eight of Swords. Fear is holding you back from allowing you to release yourself, absolve yourself of this, Spirit saying, specifically. Wow. Okay, finally, let's clarify judgment. What does judgment have to say? I mean, it's pretty loud and clear, but what else do you want to say about judgment, please, Spirit? The Ten of Swords, Scorpio. Can't make this stuff up, babe. Can't make this stuff up. Anything else for, for judgment? Yes. No. It, well, kind of. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, we'll take it. And the Knight of Cups. Overall energy. All right. Um, so, look. First of all, Scorpio, you need to have compassion for yourself. That's literally what I'm hearing in this Ace of Cups energy. You need to have love and compassion for yourself to allow yourself to bring this situation to an end or a close, the circumstance to an end or a close. But you need to understand that is you, that it is you showing love and compassion to this person by removing yourself as such a strong level of financial whatever financial support or physical, whatever, it, however it is, you are carrying weight in this situation. By you releasing yourself of it, it is in fact an act of love towards that other person because you are giving that other person the opportunity to step up for themselves, to learn how to love and care for themselves without being dependent on someone else to do it, whether they are actually in that destitute position or not, or whether they're just conning you. But it is, it comes from love, but that love first and foremost is for yourself, Scorpio, to not allow yourself to be burdened by this like this anymore. That is what judgment is saying to you. That is what this wake up call, this, and this feel, that's what, it, that, excuse me, let me finish my sentence. That is what this wake up call feels like it is for you. And it feels like a very urgent wake up call. I mean, I just heard disaster could ensue. Like this person could take, could, could take you to court somehow, or you could end up in court for this person. You could face jail time for this person. Like this is, I don't know what it is you guys are in, uh, involved with in terms of this situation, but you are putting yourself w uh, uh, way too much out there. You are literally putting yourself out on the, so some of you are putting your life, your necks on the line for someone who wouldn't even do the same for you, for a con artist. For someone who knows that their fraudulent activities or their illegal activities could actively put you in jail. The person that they are asking for, demanding help from in some cases. And yes, some of them are in fact doing it on purpose. Why? Because you get tripped up, you get caught, you get taken down, and they get to run away scot-free just to run that game or that scheme on somewhat other unsuspecting soul. For, but for whomever this is resonating for, I just heard your intuition has been telling you this the whole time. Closing message. Woo! Oh, damn. The Emperor and the Two of Pentacles. I'm just going to leave it right there. The closing message for you here, Scorpio or Crosswatcher, is that you are the master of your own domain. Therefore, you make the decisions here for yourself and for your life. And the Two of Pentacles represents the element of holding on to this burdening situation represented by one pentacle and letting go of it and moving on with your life to something better represented by the other pentacle. And you weighing the options here. And I, I already, I like, I don't even, shit, I don't need to be in this situation to know that the heaviest option here is the option that you absolutely need to be letting go of. This is your life. You make the rules. You make the decisions. You set the boundaries, emperor. You need to do that for yourself at this time or you could get, you could get tripped up, caught up in a shit ton of trouble, dude. Even if it's not legal or, or whatever, just, just the amount of being 
tripped up, caught up in like entangled in this situation is enough to just be like, oh honey, it ain't worth it. It just is not worth it, okay? It's not. Uh, okay, closing oracle guidance. I actually wanna go, ooh, I wanna go with the fairy forest oracle for you in terms of this situation. <laughs> Closing Oracle Guidance for my Scorpios, please. Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Scorpios, please. Spirit, to end this reading. Duira, healer, nourishment, nature. Duira. Yeah. All right. Here we go. It is time for you to focus completely on self-nurture and to support your own healing, emotionally and in particular, physically. This means you must put aside all the excuses you have previously allowed to take precedence over your own well-being. Your own personal healing must be the top priority of your life. Seek out a holistic healer, a spiritual healer, and a physical healer, and create a well-being program that you, that you then fully commit to. Allow nothing to interrupt this. Nothing can take away this time you now must give to your own self. Your soul is asking this of you, and you must become devoted to your own healing. When you do this, you will find others heal too, that your healing journey inspires others around you to fully connect with their own needs and, furthermore, allows them to become responsible for their own journey of healing. Would you look at that? Healing food must be within your home and your ultimate home, your body. Healing exercise must be undertaken, mindful movement. Healing environments are your refuge. Healing people nourish you. Healing thoughts and music and energies support you on this journey every day. Be relentless and merciless in culling anything or anyone who will not allow you to support yourself through what must be done. You must become fully devoted to your own healing and this must take place now. Okie dokie, Scorpio. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I truly, truly do. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and you haven't done so already. And if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email and I would love to get you all hooked up. With that said, Scorpio, I am sending you so much love. I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.